Hey folks, this is Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to another interesting video which is about Bharti Airtel rights issue. So what are we going to learn in this one? First of all, we are going to talk about what is a rights issue versus what's a right entitlement. We are also going to talk about what are the various options which are available to a shareholder of Bharti Airtel. We are also going to talk about how to calculate the intrinsic value of an RE and we are finally going to talk about a very very important question which is is there any opportunity which is available for a shareholder to earn some extra profit if I apply for RE or if I invest in right shares. Next three minutes at least 100% attention because you're going to get to know a lot of concepts and in the most simplified manner right so here we have mr chandu uh, who is he he is a very smart investor of bharti airtel okay he is very much aware about what is happening in bharti airtel right now he knows that arpu is increasing average revenue per user is increasing he knows that airtel is conducting some 5g trials and that's why you know there are great chances that q2 results or coming few quarter results are going to be really nice so he is expecting something from bharti airtel what is he expecting that he gets rewarded either by way of what dividend okay chalo by way of dividend or by way of maybe bonus shares or maybe by way of rights shares. Now you might be wondering what are these rights shares? I'll give you a very simple uh, understanding as to what are rights shares. You know about rights shares? No? Pay attention. Okay. First, rights shares are given only to existing shareholders. Sit. Hmm, sit. Okay. Understand now. Right shares are given only to existing shareholders. Who are existing shareholders? Whose name appears in the shareholders register only as on record date. Okay, so existing shareholders understood. Second one, only in a specific ratio. Which specific ratio? That company will announce. It could be let, let's say 1 is to 5 or 1 is to 10. Example, 1 is to 5 means you will get 1 right shares for every 5 shares held. Okay, 1 is to 10 will be 1 right share for every 10 shares held. Simple. Okay, third, very important. You will be eligible to get the right shares at a discounted price. Discount as compared to the market price. Assume that the share is trading at 700 then you'll be eligible to get the share at let's say 550 or at 600 in simple words at a discount to market price. Okay. And last one is you will get these right shares as a right, not an obligation. Means it's not mandatory to apply for these right shares. So if you are a shareholder of Bharti Airtel, are you going to apply? Yes. Okay. What about you, Chandu? No, you're not going to apply. Oh my God. Now you can imagine... Assume current market price is 700 and assume Bharti Airtel is going to issue these right shares at 535. Then his discount that he would have gotten 165 rupees benefit that he would have gotten. That's going to get banished. He's not going to get eligible to you know take benefit of that discount. Oh my God. Now to solve this issue. SEBI in the year 2020, somewhere around Janu January 2020, came up with the concept of RE. What is RE? RE is rights entitlement. In simple words, RE is nothing but like a tradable token. That's how it looks in your DMAT account. Okay. In simple words, this tradable token, what you can do, Chandu, if you don't want the right shares, you can give this, you can trade this token with someone else and that some person, that investor will give you money. So in simple words, Chandu, even if he doesn't want to apply for right shares, will be in a position to get money by selling his RE. Now, few more points about what are the exact details about Bharti shares, RE, rights issue, uh, record date, uh, ratio, everything coming up in the next part of the video. 
So now let's understand what is the quantum of Bharti Airtel's rights issue. They have come up with a rights issue of 39.3 crore equity shares and which amounts to 21,000 crore rupees. My God, that's such a huge amount. Now the question is, what is Bharti Airtel going to do with this big amount? If you want to know the answer to this question, you'll have to go to my Instagram account. You'll have to check a reel that I've posted today itself wherein I've told you the reason for this rights issue. And also for your convenience, I've pasted the link of that reel in the pinned comment. So don't forget to check that out. Now let's come to the important issue details of Bharti Airtel rights issue. What is the record date? Record date is 28th of September 2021. Means what? If you buy the shares of Bharti Airtel today, are you going to be eligible to get right shares? Answer is no. Why? What was the record date? It was 28th of September. The construction people right next door are mad because they are not going to get the right shares even if they buy today. So they are drilling with few more force. So bear with the noise. Anyways, what is the ratio of right shares? It is 1 is to 14. Means what? If you have 14 shares in your demat account, you will be entitled to get 1 right shares. Simple. Okay. Next one is issue price. Issue price is 535. If you remember, I told you that you will get right shares generally at a price which is discount to the current market price. That's the right shares ka price. Very, very, very important issue period and RE trading period. Have a look at this. Issue period for rights is 5th of October to October 21st. In simple words, I'll tell you my own example. Do I have Bharti Airtel shares? Yes. Did I have it as on record date? Yes. Don't ask me how much. Okay. Uh, so do I have REs in my DMAT account right now? Yes. Till what date can I apply for right shares? What will be the last date before which I can apply for the right shares? That will be 21st of October. Okay. But wait. Assume that I would have been in the Chandu category. And assume that I don't want to apply for right shares. I want to sell off my RE. What is the important date for me? That will be 5th of October too. 14th of October because RE trading window ends on 14th of October. Uh, that's tomorrow. Yes. So if you're not planning to apply for ride shares, be sure that you're selling it off before 14th of October. That is tomorrow. What is the tentative date of listing of ride shares? It's 1st of November 2021. And the last and very important point is that if you want to apply for ride shares, 535 rupees do you have to pay entire amount no company has said that on application you are going to pay only one fourth that is 133.75 and balance will be taken by the company in two or more calls that balance money will be 401 rupees 25 paise i hope all the details about bharti shares rights issue are absolutely clear now let's try and understand very important part as to how can you calculate the intrinsic value of the RE, rights entitlement. Now if you want to go by a formula, first simple straightforward, let's try and go with the formula and if you want, you can try and understand the logic also, but first by formula what's the answer? Simple. It says whatever is the latest traded price of which day of the previous day, okay? So, latest traded price of previous day minus the rights price, whatever is the answer, that is nothing but your intrinsic value of the RE. Okay, first I am telling you the formula. What is the LTP of the previous day? LTP of the previous day that is on 4th of October was 681 rupees 40 pesa. If you remember, I told you that on 5th of October, RE trading had started. Remember? Yes. Achha, what was the rights price? It was 535. So what is the intrinsic value? Intrinsic value will come to 146 rupees 40 paisa. Means what? Ideally, the RE, the token, if you remember, if you remember, Chandu was not going to apply for right shares. So he was going to sell the token. For what price he should have been able to sell the token? He should have been able to sell the token at at least 146 rupees 40 pesa. But now you can imagine. If there is more and more demand for this, then will the price of this RE increase? Yes. When this RE got actually listed, on which day RE got listed on? 5th of October 2021. Any guesses at what price did it list? It listed at 204 rupees 95 pesa and it got locked at an upper circuit of 40% oh my god that's such an amazing thing so please understand that is there an upper circuit for RE as well answer is yes okay so this is 
formula wise okay now in next max one minute i'll try and explain you the logic if you can well and good if not it's okay that's how you calculate the intrinsic value using a formula okay now assume that on 4th of october evening i'm visualizing what will happen tomorrow okay simple thing assume that the current market price remains same for an example 681 rupees 40 paisa what will happen theoretically bookishly what will happen understand i will go i'll buy the right share at what 535 am i entitled to that yes i'll buy the right share at 535 and i'll sell it in the open market at what 681 rupees 40 paisa what is the difference between these two the difference between these two is nothing but 146 rupees 40 paisa and that my friend is nothing but the intrinsic value of re so the difference between the current market price of the actual share minus the right shares ka price that is the benefit is nothing but re ka intrinsic value now the million dollar question is there still any upside left for Bharti Airtel or not? I'll tell you my simple calculation. Okay. Tell me if you agree with my calculation or not. Have a look at these figures. What is the issue price of the right shares? It's 535. Okay. As I'm shooting the video, 11th of October, market hours have closed. So today, the closing price of RE was 204 rupees 20 paisa. Okay. What is the CMP or the LTP of Bharti Airtel main share? It is 690 rupees 85 paisa. Okay. One well, last time I'm telling you 204.20, 690.85. Now tell me logically, theoretically, what is the theoretical price of Bharti Airtel? Okay. What will be the theoretical price? Tell me. My rights price plus the RE price. What is the right price? 535. What is the RE price? 204 rupees 20 paisa. So, add up these two figures and what will you get? 739 rupees 20 paisa. In simple words, any person who is buying RE even today, he knows for sure that okay, I am paying 204.20 plus I am ready to pay 535 means he expects that the price of Bharti Airtel will be above that at a later date. Correct? So, he is expecting the price to go beyond 740 so what is the current market price as i'm shooting the video it's 690.85 so this translates into a potential upside of almost seven percent that's my mathematical calculation let me know your thoughts about the potential upside on bharti Airtel. now let's again understand an amazing concept of how investing in a pp can fetch you more money than investing in the actual stock PP? Are, you'll get to know. Wait. First, again, let's go back to our journey. First, what happens? You can apply for the RE or you can invest in RE. RE, RE was what? Right entitlement. Right? After you buy the RE, then you can buy the right shares. If you remember, you had to pay only 25% of the rights amount. And then I said that roughly around 1st of November, these right shares will get listed on the stock exchange. Right? Is this happening for the first time in history that partly paid shares are being listed? No. First one was Reliance Industries. So today we have two Reliance Industry shares. Two means two categories. One is Reliance Industry, fully paid up share. One is Reliance Industry, partly paid up share. Okay. Similarly, we'll have two Bharti Airtel different category shares. One will be Reliance Industry, uh, one will be Bharti Airtel fully paid up share and one will be Bharti Airtel partly paid up shares. Okay. Have a look at how Reliance PP versus Reliance shares have performed in the past. I have taken four random dates. Okay. If you see carefully, 8th October, 3rd September, two examples where the share went up and 13th September, 25th June when the share went down. Two examples I have taken for each. If you see in absolute terms, Reliance Industries upside and Reliance PP ka upside is almost the same. 98.85, 97.25, 94 and 92. In absolute terms, in rupee terms, upside is same. But percentage wise, you will see a difference. RIL has gone up by 3.84% and RIL PP has gone up by 5.03%. Why? If your math is good, your denominator is small in case of PP. The amount itself is small in PP. Correct. Same logic is going to apply for Bharti Airtel. So now given a choice, am I going to trade in Bharti Airtel PP shares or in Bharti Airtel shares? Obviously, I'll trade in Bharti Airtel PP. Why? Denominator is small. That is why my magnification of percentage gains will be higher. 
but what if uh, the share falls have a look at this when the shares fell on these two dates september and june dates that i have taken reliance main share fell by 54 and 49 on two different dates same dates pp fell by 48 and 46 so percentage fall if you saw uh, if you can see pp fell by a shade higher pp fell at 2.74 vis a vis 2.23 and pp fell at 3.03 vis a vis 2.28 uh, so here the share the fall is also a shade higher as compared to the main share so in simple words if you are investing in pp it's as good as high risk high return so if you feel that you want to do that aaj kuch toofani karte category you can surely try of investing a small amount if you feel so not a direct advice then try and just check out the bharti airtel pp share once it gets listed on the stock exchange well i have talked about this so many times on our channel that yas bharti airtel is one of my favorite shares so am i going to add few more shares uh, yes but not the main shares now i'm going to plan and add pp shares and again try to study what is the correlation between bharti airtel pp shares and bharti airtel main shares if you got to learn something new from today's video don't forget to share it with your friends also with your family members and if you're still not subscribed to the channel please do that and even don't forget to hit that like button till then take care jai hind and bye bye